friends. A long time ago I made a video tutorial in Flash ActionScript 3 about how to create pop-up windows from within Flash. Any buttons that you wanted to press or any time in your ActionScript you can make a JavaScript pop-up window happen. And now I've got a request from someone to do a tutorial about a JavaScript pop-up alert from within Flash. I've had this request about 10 times now so I'm going to go ahead and bang it out today. So if you want to learn how to make a pop-up alert window from within Flash ActionScript 3, you'll be learning that today. Okay, first thing we'll do is go into Flash CS4, or you can be in CS3, any version of Flash that handles ActionScript 3. Let's create new ActionScript 3 file. And once we're inside, let's go ahead and grab a rectangle primitive. Draw it out to stage. I'm going to round the corners just a little bit on it. Okay, so I've got my button graphics all laid out. I've got static text sitting on top of my rectangle. And I'm going to highlight both of those. Right click, convert the symbol. I'm going to turn it into a button type symbol with a center registration. Okay. I'm going to give that an instance name. I'm going to highlight it on stage, go up to the properties panel here, and give it an instance name of alert underscore btn. Now I can apply code to that instance name and have my code communicate with this button. So let's go ahead here to the layers, add a new layer. Let's name this one AS3, short for ActionScript 3. And let's press F9 to open our actions panel. Okay, so once the scripting window comes up, let's make sure we have a good size so you guys can see what's going on here. The first thing we're going to do is type in the function. Now it's important to note that when you have uh, this code running, it doesn't have to be on a button. I'm going to have mine put on a button just for demonstration's sake. But it's important to know that this code can run at any time and it doesn't have to be in a button function. But I'm going to put it in a button function here. I'm going to call it function JS alert window. And that's my function name. And this function is event colon mouse event. Put in the void. Open this squiggly bracket, the curly bracket there. Curly brace. Go one more line down under that and let's put the event listener for this function on our button. So alert underscore btn which is the instance name we gave our button dot add event listener and this is going to be mouse event dot click comma and then the function name which was JS alert window here control C control V now we can just close off and put a semicolon now all we have to do is put one line in it's going to be setting up the functionality we need to make a JavaScript pop-up window happen from within Flash. So let's type in var alert and let's make this URL request it's equal to new URL request so now we have a new URL request object open parenthesis close parenthesis semicolon now within these parenthesis let's type in double quote double quote and then within the double quotes let's type in JavaScript and here's where you can put any JavaScript you want really JavaScript colon alert because this is going to be an alert window so we have to signify it as alert for JavaScript to understand that and we're gonna put in single quote single quote within those parentheses and here you just type in whatever you want any message you want let's type in hello world I was gonna type in hello what okay so now all we have to do is type in navigate to URL
alert because that's the URL object here you see alert alert comma and let's put in the target which is going to be self let's close all this off first in between these double quotes put in self so it'll be targeting itself as the window but it's going to be a JavaScript pop-up alert so you don't have to worry about I think that could be blank or self I'm just going to have it as self so now all the code is in that's communicating to that button and like I said it, this code right here these two lines don't have to be inside of a button function they could be in any part of your action script where you want a JavaScript pop-up alert window to come up so now let's press F12 actually let's go ahead and save our file file save as and I'm gonna put it I'm gonna find a location where I want to save it on my computer okay so I've FTP'd everything up to the web so it's online on my live server I'm gonna go to the URL where the file is and there's my little button I'm gonna click it and there's a JavaScript alert window easy peasy there's Internet Explorer here's Mozilla Firefox same thing works beautiful great and here we are in Google Chrome so there you have it the three most popular browsers over there works no problem I hope you've enjoyed this one and we will see you in the next lesson bye bye